Welcome back everybody, I'm certain we're going to play some more Massive Chalice today. I'm excited, we just finished up that battle. We are not too far away from getting some new Hunter armor. I think it's going to do us really, really well. Uh, but we have a lot of time to go, so let's just kick it off. Less than 200 years away, we're past a third. Oh my. Man, people just can't make it past their 60s. Now here we are in a situation... I really need to put some new people in here. This guy's got plus three levels. Good, good for you. Mid 15, people starting off a level six. That is some good stuff. So let's see. You guys have your own hold. As do you. So these two families are not something I'm necessarily concerned about having uh, someone join the guild, right? Possibly. Like, at this point, I would kind of. Interesting. I'd kind of be interested, or I should say, just fine having somebody from the disappearing household go there. A level 15 intuition. That's level 6. I'm okay with this. Um, because there's just so many other people to choose from from this family. Uh, granted, most of them appear to be here somewhere here. At a much better age range. Uh, and you know, they're just a one level difference for what would be 6% increase this person's gonna be around presumably for a long time so we're gonna get a lot of good use out of them but someone's just starting off with 15 i feel like i can't ignore that that being said the person here who is 44 well you know what they don't have their own holding but honestly they're not really gonna be having children for much longer either maybe we'll just buckle down and grab these two i'm gonna do it i'm gonna bite the bullet I'm not sure if it's necessarily the greatest decision I've ever made. Probably isn't. Uh, not because I have a lot of really great decisions, but just because I'm really good at not having poor ones. I imagine here at 81 years old, she's not long for this world. Um, but we're getting, look at that. Oh, it's almost half off. Uh, you can't argue that, man. Four years. All right, let's jump right back in. And more babies. It's like Fantastic. It's the mail, only random. Every few years. So nothing like the mail. You know, I'm starting to really grow just like these. I know there's some really good things that can happen from these, but I feel like we out of like the five plus that we've gotten, I've only gotten one relatively mediocre positive effect from these. On the mean hand, I've like burned down buildings and people have died and corruption has spread. Like I don't I don't care for these. I see these now and they're not like, oh that's interesting. It's like, oh shit. What now? Anyways, what a guy, Cadence Child. A distraught man comes to you and begs to, and begins by saying that his family lives near the corruption line. I was pl was playing outside with my children recently when my daughter yells out that she sees something in the kernel. Uh, her reward for the corruption. Before I could stop her, she ran into it and I watched her age into dust. Now, I accept what happened, but these are strange days we're in, so I have to ask, or is there only any hope for her? Where well, you saw her age to die. So... Let's see, we say, I don't know, but I'll send one of my people out there to go investigate. I say, I don't know, but I'll send somebody else to go investigate. So I can send my hunter, my level 46 sage, right, who's got 17 intuition, who there is no chance in hell I'm sending out there. This is a dime a dozen hunter, as far as I'm concerned. We have a boatload of them. Uh, level 5 is nice, 24 is nice. I'm just going to say I'm afraid not. The hard truth, the man trapped tries to remain steady but your words make his knees buckle and he slumps to the ground sorry i just can't seem to blast it as he stands up he can't meet your gaze thank you for your time and your honesty the man quietly makes his way out of the room without a second look back so i'm sure there's something positive that could happen from that but i'm not getting either one of those people killed oh there she goes i made another two years but we're running out of people to get lined up. Honestly, you're 61. I'm not going to marry you to anybody. And for 14, I'll take it. I don't want to take you out to level you up either, so. The stage right will reduce the current research time by 106 days. That's, that's not too great, but it's almost completed at this point. That's why the numbers seem so low. 45%. It's actually better than it was. Good you. Good job, you. The people won't take this well advise the partner to have a public funeral vanishing disappearing who is a person by the way that's that's not some odd 
mashing of verbs. Regent of Invisible Hall has died at the age of 61. However, the legend will survive in the bloodlines of relics baptized in our champion's act of heroism. Yada yada yada. So we have um, the will of. Awesome. So what do we have here? The spine. Uh, it's 49 damage, 6 to 14 crit damage, and a 50% chance. I feel like it, regardless of what it is, it has these excuse me, same stats. However, who do I want to give to? Probably somebody young. I'm thinking you, Kale. You're young. You're level 6. You have a bright future. Let's do it. You seem just as good as anybody else. You're alert. You're a slow learner. You're as asthmatic. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe we'll look at somebody else. How about you? You're 17, level 5. I guess that could be just as good. You're dim-witted. Nimble and quick. So dim-witted probably just means that their intelligence is low. Uh, it sucks, but I'm not as concerned about that, to be honest. Uh, quick and nimble is nice. Where's this person up here? Uh, Kale. Let's take a look at exactly what that is. Uh, just a slow learner. Decreased XP gain. I do not want that. I, I don't want somebody to have that for anything, to be honest. Uh, but then you know what? There's Varys here. There's level 14 and they're an enforcer. You are so dim-witted. Lower intelligence. That's fine. Good job, Varys. Good job being an enforcer. Point you regent. Um... What do you have? Brainy and asthmatic. I don't like asthmatic, but I really like brainy. You're 39. Kill your 15 with the average fertility. Let's take a look at you. Hawkeye, brainy, and nimble. Done. The personality trait will probably get overwritten anyways. This, I think, is a good choice. I like all of those traits. Let's get that bread in there. Right meow. So who should we look at? I want to, to spend a little more time this time looking at the different personality traits. How old are you? 29? Okay. A chance for daughters? Whatever. You're strong, real, and bountiful. These are also good. I feel very pleased with these. High fertility rate. And a super high chance for hunters. Do we have anything other than hunters as an option? Just more enforcers. And only with one person. Alright, let's take a quick look at you, Mr. 17-year-old. This is a guy we just picked up. You have bare strength, you're nimble, and you're sickly. What does that mean for you? Decreased max HP. Um, honestly, nimble and bare strength are kind of great. I don't really care about the sickly that much. HP, of course, is very important, but typically people don't get hit that often. And with better and better armor and yada yada yada. I, I said let's try this one. I think this is I think that's a decent idea. It's super high chance for babies. And um we like babies. Well, I feel like that came out wrong. We like the fact that they're gonna have a lot of babies. Uh it somehow makes me feel a little less creepy saying it that way. The best policy. A message has arrived to the community leader in the augurs. It seems that after you encountered the man whose daughter fell into the corruption, he traveled throughout the entire region telling people about what you had said. He was thankful for your honesty, and because of it, he started a safety program to better inform parents and children of the perils of living near the cadence. Apparently, they've saved a hundred lives already. That is actually awesome. So not only did we end up getting something for the choice we made, it wasn't immediate, and I like that a lot. I like that it actually had some roles to play. Um, and I also like that choosing what I thought was the chicken option of uh, playing it safe I turned out to actually be the one that was correct. Uh, so that's nice, we get a free decrease in corruption. Uh, I'm really good at delivering crap news to like people about loved ones dying, so it only makes sense that that worked out well for me. Find armor is finished. I want to build another keep, I think. Uh, 13 years is a long time away, but... I mean... 20 years just seems too far. We can get these ones super fast, but we don't really have anybody 
on the field you can use, so I guess it doesn't matter. Time Fist. Interesting. A caber in the right hands can already induce hour long blackouts, but what if we can knock enemies into next week or later? With some harvested twitcher arms, this nightmare could become a reality. Well, I don't. I would like something really actually more specific about what that's going to do for me, but I guess that works. And skipping stone, that's kind of cool. I, I'm gauging just by the picture that I understand what's going to happen there. And we still cannot get this team's scarf. I would like to get that scarf. It's been suggested to me that I should. I agree. I'm all for it. Where is it? Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves at least one more keep. I'm happy with this. Even if it is 13 years away, we have a pretty solid reduction. Um, and we can most likely put it somewhere pretty safe. Like the Cinderlands or the Pale Sea. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter either way. Which one do we choose? So. I mean, I don't care about their plus strength. Intelligence would be cool, I guess, but yeah, yeah, whatever. We'll put it here. And we'll see it in like 50,000 years. Hopefully. Another white robe to be sent to the stars in a flurry of chemicals. Are you kidding me? We just appointed them. Go out in style. You can try a little harder to live longer when I point you to something important like this. People, like, don't even care. I suppose it is a dangerous show. Well, I mean, when you have somebody with 14 and 13, I f it makes it hard to really go elsewhere. That being said, these... Mm, you know what? No, you're too old. You're too old to be on the Grand Third. Your uh, family already has a house. Yeah, that's fine. Let's be honest. If you're after a certain age, I'm not going to put you to battle. You're not getting experience, and therefore you're not going to get a house. Damn, look at those babies come out. Wow, she died. Ada was a good person. I'm surprised she passed so early. I feel like we just appointed her not too long ago. Let's take a good look at what we got here. So you are level 16, or level 6, 16, you're level 6. Um, you get an extra 180 a year. You have the alert personality, which, what increases it? Invasion, okay. I mean, that's good, I like that. Who else do we have? Uh, you're 45, that's, that's a good age to give up on you in terms of fighting. You got heart, tranquil. Uh, younger Heart is actually really nice. Um, I do like the fact that it prevents the impact of aging on stats. Uh, that being said, I'm still having not going to bring old people out anyways. Increased accuracy is always kind of cool. Uh, I don't feel like that's a bad choice. He looks much older than 36, but whatever. I'm not one to judge. It's not, it's not relevant. There's one experience a year difference I feel like is completely irrelevant. Yeah, sure, let's go with you. Congrats on your promotion, or whatever that is. I'll give you a skill if that means anything. <laughs> Just because I feel like I should. You're in the point, damn it, use it. And I can't believe we haven't gotten let's in a fight yet. It. There we go. Uh, you have nothing built there with nothing there. Oh, 25% reduction in current research time, though. That would save us two years. I mean, it would have been better a while ago. I want to have an experience for each enemy killed. Ruptures, riches, ruptures, tripses. Yeah, I'm going to have to go here and defend ours. I mean, that took us a long time to build. Okay, so you guys are just a tad bit old. Just a tad bit. Uh, you level six. Yeah, we're bringing these people. We'll take a look at you here in a second. Let's just get the people out there that I want. For sure, the level six people. Uh, how did you get to be so old already? Like I haven't used you. Okay. Let's go for this. I can hear my wife sneezing in the background. 
three. I like having people from different houses. Um, however, I'm just running out of options to do that with. Near level four, that's a huge difference in level. But at the same time, I have to get somebody from that house leveled up. And since they only seem to have one choice, I guess it's you. Good job. Good job on being the only choice. Winning by default. Evasion 15. Okay, so it is actually different. Well, I'm not giving this up for anything. I mean, we go down on one armor for five evasion. Yeah, absolutely not. That was a waste of research. But I didn't know, and now we do know, so it's it's not for nothing. There's something to be said for player knowledge. Blinding shot. I like blinding shot. You don't use it very often, but sometimes it's really nice. Did you say plus two if you don't? Oh, because plus two is over here. That's fine. And that only does that make perfect sense. It's also fine. I wish there was a quicker way to go through here and equip all these things because it feels like it's just a lot of clicking. It feels like it takes a long time. Let's see. We'll get you. Handler. I need these people to be able to hit. Bad things happen when they can't hit things. Um, we'll keep you with this. Get rid of your armor. The better armor. But you can have the regular build, that's fine. I want to get rid of you, you're too old. Too old, let go. And nobody listened to techno. Uh, you're 43. I think I just got rid of you, so that wouldn't make sense to put you back out there. I didn't get a good look at what mixture of houses we have. 28 enforcer seems fine, though. I wonder why it's not defaulting to these things. I think I wish I could get them to default to this stuff. It would just save me so much freaking time. We only have one Neely out there. It's a little concerning. But the oldest person we have is 28, and I, I can live with that decision. And we'll get this on you. We'll give it on somebody. Let's get you a button bar just so we have a couple. I don't want too many, but just a couple. Fair enough, and then we just need to assign these guys skills. I want to get point blank. I want to be able to use it on somebody. I think it's going to be a lot of fun if we can get that out there. Still mostly hunters. All right, let's get to it. Hope these twitchers don't get a cheap shot on this, unlike they did last time. Onward. We don't want to keep the cadence waiting. Indeed, we do not. Okay, I think we can hug this wall to the right and get a good shots off on him next turn. Let's get people up there. If we get lucky, we might get a good bone barb shot off on somebody. Oh, you're wearing the wrong freaking armor. How did I miss that? Oh, god damn it, I'm sorry. Well, this person's not going to be a real pain in the butt to deal with. I mean, I really attach the ability, the fact that everyone can stealth wherever the hell they please. No, oh, these things happen. Yes, there it is. Oh, yeah. Alright, so who has a bone farm? You do. Well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? I don't think there's going to be a way that I can get more than just two, but I'm not really worried about that, to be honest. Just, just put them down. Double explosion for the win.
guy back here that I... Nah, nah you're not any help. Let's put you here. We'll do a very some more act here. You should get like a bonus XP for killing two at once. Like a, some type of multiplier, even if it's insubstantial. I get way too excited about Something to reward you for pulling stuff like that off. Because to be honest, it's not easy. You don't, it's not something you do all the time. I mean, I guess it is if you're an alchemist. Alchemists typically kill multiple things at once, but reward them for that. I'm actually done with this area. I don't want to bother crossing that way. We'll backtrack a bit. See what's going on here. Move you up slightly. Not a lot of places for you to run to. attack going. Why not? I have a nice cozy spot for you over there. And we'll see what we find around these corners here. There's something. There it was. I know there's supposed to be twitches, but I feel like we've just seen a boatload of ruptures. Get a good shot off on him, though. What you got on him? This is your chance to shine, man. Do it. Wow, look at that damage right up the front. 500 freaking experience. Okay. Get the pawn bar. Let's see. Let's get you. Where can you see that guy? Right there. Let's get you. Nah, crap, we just found more. I'm worried about. It. Okay, that's actually kind of what I wanted to have happen. Not gonna lie. Good for you. Oh, wait, no. This is slightly angled. Are you kidding me? I thought I was gonna be able to get. Oh, wait, I can. Herder, <laughs> derp, derp. Just try targeting the correct one, that might help. That right, we still have three you have to kill. That means everyone's gonna have to land their shot without activating anybody else. Two shots, sure, but you know what I mean. I wonder if there's an animation to you, or an option to change these animations. I feel like we take so much time between each shot, each move. It's one thing that XCOM did well is let you kind of change between people while they do stuff. Um, just Shaves off that little bit of time over and over again. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Oh, shit. Head.
feel like the more I do this, just the more things we're going to see. The more problems I'm just creating. Alright, let's get the first, first right off the bat, let's just get the close ones dealt with before they become any real issues. This guy should be far enough, it shouldn't be a problem to, yeah. Can you hit this guy? No. Uh, Alright, put him down. Take your time, no rush, just blow up whatever you feel like it. Gonna try to scout around a little bit for me. And you can't hit this guy, huh? Interesting. I could stealth you somewhere, but everywhere is pretty much acid. Let's um let's try this ability out. Uh, that seems just as good to me. Is anywhere else? That appears to have revealed nothing, as far as I can tell. Be kind of nice if it showed me the area, but you know, whatever. You do you, game. Don't let me tell you how to. Um, let me do things. Really? Oh, because you have your asthma attack, huh? I I really need to get that asthma gene out of this game. It is annoying. And in this one instance, uh, you know, threatening. Where can you even go? Nowhere. Fine, man, just do your own thing over here then, I guess. Yeah, come just a little bit closer. Perfect. Just trying to clean these up. We've only seen one Twitch, which really surprises me. Not gonna lie about that. I, I figured there'd be more. I don't think there's too much map this map left though. There's gotta be at least one more Twitch. All right, no evidence of that attack there. No one sees him. I feel like he's a little exposed out there by himself. Let's get you away from the exploding bush just in case some jackass decides to run out of nowhere and smack it for no reason again. Melee guy attacking exploding bush. Makes perfect sense. That's a new one, that's not the same one. Uh oh, uh oh, he's getting surrounded. You can still see him there, so let's move you back just a tiny bit. That's out of range. They can't make it to in time, I'm pretty sure. 32 damage seems excessive. I'm not gonna play. It feels like way more than what they were getting before. Mm, do we have a bone bar? No, unfortunately not. Um, that's fine. I think you should just stay there regardless. What do you see for me? Not a whole lot. What do you see for me? Even less. Catch up with your friends there. And you just just chill. We'll take care of these guys next turn. Uh, he got a little bit closer than I thought he was going to. I'm not going to lie there. Neither one of you have a bone barb. That's okay. Have little issues killing them regardless. Plus we get to blow that up for fun. It's a two for one. Two for one on fun. That's just, that's a deal you just can't pass out. Nice. Good to see these high levels starting to really roll in. I feel like this part of the map, despite having fog and war, is not gonna offer us a whole lot. I feel like the, all the enemies are going to be over there to the left. Just trying to regroup a little bit. 
I mean, you never know when you see these guys. Oh, this, this could be the last one. Yeah, there was. Wow, there's just one twitch. We'll hearing about this for a while. Just don't get cocky. There's nothing an enemy loves more than some idiot charging into battle thinking they're invincible. No, no, so we're invincible. The suicidal caber jack. I'm not cocky. I'm confident. All right. That's almost everybody there at level six. Very, very exciting. That's unfortunate, but not that unfortunate. It's good to see this place rid of corruption. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at our heroes. I want to check out those levels. Uh, let's get your skills. Uh, I, I still like blinding shot. But, I mean, it was cool to shoot off that flare and kind of get a good eye on things, but was I super impressed over it? Yeah, not really. Landing shot, stand ground, get a bonus to max hit points and immunity to knockback effects. I mean, that's nice. Is it nicer than blinding shot? This is a passive. I feel like that's always active. I'm going to go for it. If you watched any of my other series, I'm a huge fan of passives because uh, they don't require me doing anything. <laughs> and that's about all I have in me sometimes. You're the other person you didn't level. Awesome. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to end the episode here. I had a pretty good run today. It's been about 30 minutes. It seems to be what these um, episodes average. But uh, I've been having a great time and I hope you guys are too. If you enjoy the episode and you want to support me, please do leave a like on the video. It uh, means a lot to me. It really does help out a lot. And if you want to see what happens next, don't forget to subscribe. Either way, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.